At that's right, and Daimler's truck business accounts for nearly a third of big truck sales in the North American market, and sales are hurting. Now with me to talk about that is Martin Dahm, the CEO of Daimler Trucks North America. Martin, welcome. Welcome, Greg. Let's talk about this first. Just how much are un unit sales down? This year we're down 43% from last year or 60% from the peak in 2006. I mean, that's a, a, a staggering figure. Uh, uh, any sign of a bottom? I would say yes. Uh, second quarter this year, we definitely saw a bottom. Since then, we see a slight increase, and it continues. And if it continues, I would say we will see a little bit of better market uh, 2010. Still a not good year, but better than 2009. So you say, uh, you know, slightly better, uh, according to some analysts as well, but you, you still don't see any massive... Uh, uh, improvement due to the Obama administration stimulus program? Uh, not yet, but uh, we, we never would benefit directly from that. That's our customer who benefits. So, so first of all, it brings more freight on the roads. Once more freight is on the road, trucks get more used up, and then they, uh, we get more trucks in consequence to replace. So to clarify for our viewer, uh, the, the, uh, the truck sales business, the big truck sales business, is a, a lagging economic uh, indicator, which comes after other no, actually, I would, I would consider ours a pretty much an a, 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 a indicator which, which comes on first because uh, our, our customers, trade volume has to pick up. And the moment trade volume picks up, we are in the business again and our customers are in the business again. How about this? Next year, uh, you said you see an improvement. By what percentage do you expect your unit sales to increase in 2010 versus 2009? I mean, it's very, very difficult to predict. My, my personal prediction or what we base our playing on is about a 10% increase over, over this year, 2009, which is still not a good year. Okay, well, why is 10% not a good year? Because it's, because it's yeah, all because 40% it, it, it decline? Dropped, it, it dropped 40%. So, so you're still 34% down from, from, from 2008. Do you see uh, a unit uh, sales uh, getting back to, to their old levels any time in the next few years? It, it will come. Uh, uh, I, I hope that by the end of next year we see a further increase. And then 2011, 2012 should be fine because the, the, the fleet age out in the market is aging. So trucks get older and older, more mileage on them. So they have to be replaced sooner or later. Okay, which kind of truck demand will, will uh, pick up the most? Because to, to explain to our viewers, you have the, the Freightliner product, which is uh, basic uh, big, uh, you know, uh, truck uh, transportation. Or okay, and then you've got uh, basically a bus bus uh, production. The and then, then you've got the heavy, heavy stuff yeah, that takes yeah. the oil rigs yeah. and also the logging. Which yeah. of those picks up first? I would say the over the highway business is, is the one who has to pick. It will be will pick up first because consumer spending is important and inventories in the industry are so much down that I think sooner or later. They have to be replenished, and that will lead to more truck demand. So, how much do you see that increasing? What, uh, 15 percent? I mean, more than that 10 percent average you're talking about? Uh, yes, I would say. Yeah. Now you got a problem. Uh, government, state, and local getting killed because of tax declines. They're getting squeezed. Does that mean bad things long term for you for your uh, uh, for your bus? Uh, sales business? Uh, it might. We might see uh, a little bit of dip in the school bus business, where we are very strong with Thomas built buses uh, done by Daimler in North America. Uh, but on the other sides, you, t you know, we have new emission laws, and and we see a lot of governments really having an eye on on clean trucks. Uh, so that might sti that might stimulate our sales a little bit. We, we have 30 seconds left. You were considering closing a plant in Portland, Oregon. You decide to keep it open. Tell us why you decide to keep it open. You have 30 it was a difficult seconds. decision. Uh, we got a strong military order from the U.S. government, uh, uh, and and I just hate to spend money in closing a plant. I rather invested in new products. So that was that tipped the scale to keep the plant open. So that was a personal decision as well? No, it wasn't. It was, an ex it was, a, it was a discussion in our teams, in, 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 within our team, and, uh, and, and we came to, the, to, to a conclusion to do so. Martin, uh, we have to go. I want to thank you very much for your okay. time. Okay, welcome, Greg. David Martin Dahm, the head of the North American Truck Unit for Daimler AG.